Hey guys, Dave, northeastedible.com. Wanted to show you a little bit of what I have in uh, my chicken area and duck area here. That is some comfrey. I've got to plant it all over the place. That's one one plant. I just did a, just did a chop and drop on that guy. Uh, if you look close in here, we've got a couple plants in there. You can see that's elderberry right there I did from cuttings. That's an autumn olive right there. Uh, I've got some more elderberry cuttings there. Uh, if we go a little bit over here, that is additional comfrey. Let's see what else do we have. Some more comfrey. If you can look here, that is strawberry. I think I mentioned a while back that I'm planting a little bit of uh, just scattering seed and everything. Um, here we've got some, some mulberry. Just some tiny little mulberry plants. Some more mulberry. But you can see this is this is pretty overgrown. Uh, we're just kind of letting it, this uh, area, you can see some ducks there going to town. Um, got some muscovies in the pen there. They're about to come out. Um, but yeah, this, this is kind of pasture area. Forage crops for the birds. Eventually these guys are still tall, or still pretty tiny. So, um, and a couple of these, these cuttings actually, we had some fruit I don't see any more oh yeah here we go um, you can take a look right there tiny little elderberry fruit but this if you can check right here this one didn't make it actually I was doing a hardwood cutting on this and I had somebody that was gonna gonna take this and plant it at their own spot they changed their mind last minute so I kind of dug it up and uh, half dug it up and then put it right back in the ground and I didn't it was, it was a little too much to take for a first year hardwood cutting, but you can see this guy, this is all hardwood, and then that's the new growth right right here. So um, just show you a little bit of what I have in the pasture. A ton of uh, dandelion, which is a good, goes down deep into the soil. Um, mulberry, oh, that's elderberry, autumn olive, some mulberries over there. So just want to show you a little bit about what we have in the pasture for the birds. They love eating the comfrey. I chop and drop it, or I, f I put it to them right in their, right into their little pans for food. So, um, considered growing any of those edibles. They're great for human consumption. Um, we're gonna say not comfrey. Comfrey's can use uh, use it on injuries and cuts and scrapes and everything, but um, not not officially allowed to say that that's good for edible human edibles. But birds love it. So, um, <clears throat> elderberries are great for for tonics and. Uh, and everything for great for fighting off colds and mulberries tremendous eating fresh out of hand or, or making wine or pretty much anything so dave northeastedible.com you guys have a great day remember to to plant some edibles in your yard or your your uh animal areas thanks guys